Hey, what's up, everybody? So, you know, this Sunday is Battleground, where it was a lot of... I'm not talking about all the matches, but I'll give you my, um, my predictions on the main matches, about six of them that are going to happen. I'm going to start with the Intercontinental Championship, Ryback versus The Miz versus The Big Show. Now, Ryback's been a pretty good Intercontinental Champion. That was the first belt he ever won, actually. Now, in this triple threat match... I have a feeling, you may not agree, but I think The Miz is going to win the Intercontinental Championship. Which will lead on to a feud with him and Ryback or something. I don't think The Big Show is going to win. It's going to be Ryback or The Miz, but I'm mainly thinking The Miz is going to win the Intercontinental Championship. You know, It doesn't make sense to have a triple threat match to put The Miz in there for him to ha have a role unless Ryback just destroys him and pins him 1-2-3. But I'm saying The Miz is probably going to be Intercontinental Champion, even if you don't agree. Um... The Primetime Players versus The New Day. This feud's gone on for a little bit. Now, I think it's going to be back and forth with them. You know, I think it's going to be a pretty good tag match. I think the Primetime Players are going to win. I think The New Day's finally gone down. You know, their heels and everything. And they've had their title run. <laughs> the Primetime Players need a bigger title run. I'm saying as far as titles goes and how they want to, you know, write this... <laughs> I would say the primetime players are probably going to retain the tag team championships. So that goes to Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. But that's just my opinion, if, if you think about it. Now, Sheamus versus Randy Orton. Now, Sheamus is the Money in the Bank contract winner. Now, kind of like back in the days when Edge won the Money in the Bank um, ladder match, he was losing to people, you know? He lost like Matt Hardy and he didn't become champion. Now, what I'm, now where this is going is, I'm saying that maybe Sheamus will lose some matches and win some matches. I think that Randy Orton might possibly beat Sheamus unless they have this match ending in this qualification and they don't want to make Sheamus look real strong, although they should, you know, they don't mean, it's like they don't want to make people look too strong. Sheamus will become the champion very soon. Do I think he'll cash in at this pay-per-view? I don't think he's going to cash in at this pay-per-view. Let's say one to shock us, but I think Randy Orton's going to defeat Sheamus. Now, Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns. Very interesting match. I'm not sure if I should root for Roman Reigns or Bray Wyatt. Um, now, both these guys had big matches at WrestleMania 31, which is why this is a pretty good match. Like, they're both being, they were both being pushed, you know. Roman Reigns. I, I, it's kind of sad to see how both these guys kind of went down the chain, you know. You'd think Bray Wyatt would have a bigger push and Roman Reigns would be in a bigger position. But as far as Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt goes, I got a feeling that I think... This match might end in a disqualification or something. It's not how it's kind of how it is with this pay-per-view. Like, like how like you know, like years ago when it was Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton, the Big Show, Kane, Odom, and everything. I think this is going to be a rivalry that's going to keep on you know getting bigger and bigger. I think it might end in a disqualification. I don't see Bray Wyatt pinning Roman Reigns, and I don't see Roman Reigns pinning Bray Wyatt. So I think it might end in a countout disqualification. I don't know. I think something's going to happen between them, and it's going to make the match bad. Um, now. The United States Championship, John Cena versus Kevin Owens. Now, this is going to be hard. I would hate to see Kevin Owens lose to John Cena. I want Kevin Owens to look strong. Kevin Owens, in my opinion, he's a pretty good heel. I don't like him. as a, I, don't, I think he's kind of annoying. I think he's you know one of those guys who, he, he's a wrestler you have to hate. You hate to love him, basically, or love to hate him. You know what I mean? But Kevin Owens, I want him to become the United States Champion against John Cena. John Cena's had a good reign as the United States Champion. Remember, John Cena won that title at WrestleMania 31 against Alexander Rusev and beat, and beat Alexander Rusev. And look, so look what's happened to Rusev. Rusev has now gone so downhill, you know. Now, I, what, like I guess I want Kevin Owens to win, but I'm not really sure about this match. This is one of those matches that's really unpredictable. I got a feeling Kevin Owens might win against John Cena. I don't think this this rivalry is going to end at this pay per view. But I got a feeling that Kevin Owens is going to beat John Cena. Unless they want John Cena to hold on to the belt longer. But why? You know, give Kevin Owens his chance. Don't bury Kevin Owens. He's looking strong. He's Triple H's experiment. Keep Kevin Owens looking good. That's my way of looking at it. So I think Kevin Owens is going to become the, the new United States champion. Now Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Another unpredictable match. Brock Lesnar should beat Seth Rollins in reality. Brock Lesnar is stronger, bigger, and Seth Rollins wouldn't stand a chance. Unless J&J Security came, all the authority helped Seth Rollins win. Now, I'm telling you, I think that Brock Lesnar 
He can beat Seth Rollins, but I don't know how this match is going to end. I believe it's going to be one of those matches where there's going to be no winner. I believe that Seth Rollins might get counted out on purpose, hit a referee, get disqualified. I don't know how it's going to happen, but look at it this way. I'll say it one more time. Seth Rollins cannot beat Brock Lesnar in a one-on-one -on -one match. Pedigree him 20 times, and you still won't pin him one, two, three. So, and the curb stop is not even illegal anymore. So, in my opinion, I believe Brock will lose, will win by disqualification, or Seth Rollins will win by disqualification. So, this match is going to have no winner. It's going to end up in being a mess. Because Brock Lesnar either wins, or this match ends in a whole other way. So, there's going to be no winner for this match. That's my prediction for Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. And those are my predictions for Battleground 2015. It's a Sunday. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. And bye.